Hello and welcome to Catalan Studio API testing tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll continue our CRUD operations and we'll understand the last uh, basic operation in CRUD, which is the delete operation. So we have seen the get request, we have seen the put, post, and now we are going to understand how we can delete the task that we had created in the post tutorial. So we had utilized the post method to create a task in Asana and now we'll use the delete method to delete that particular task. So we'll go to the documentation and understand in the tasks that we have the delete method available there. Now in this delete method, if you see that existing task can be deleted by making a delete request and um, the in the URL, what you have to do is you, have ju you just have to provide the task GID. So you have the endpoint, which is app.asana.com. Then in the resource, you just have to append the task GID to that particular resource, which you want to delete. And then in the response, it will send the blank data dictionary with uh, nothing in that particular dictionary. So let's copy this delete request and go to Catalon Studio. And in the Asana folder, I'll right click go to new click on web service request and provide the URL there okay and I'll update the name to delete task from Asana project okay so we are deleting the task that we created so we'll just click OK and now in this particular request in place of task GID we just have to provide the task okay so we'll use the same task GID that we created and go to the delete request in the resource itself. We'll just copy and paste this particular task. Let me delete it and paste the GID, right? And that's the only thing we have to do apart from the authorization. So we'll set up the authorization as well. So let me quickly set up the auth and then we'll trigger this particular request. Okay, so I have configured the OAuth 2 or uh, the authorization for this particular request. Let me save this request and click on run. And now this particular task should get deleted. Okay, so it says 200 OK. But that's not what we were expecting in the response. It should give us a blank data dictionary. So the problem here is that we didn't change the method to delete, right? If you want to delete any resource or any uh, data, then we need to select the method as delete, right? So we didn't change it to delete and that is why it, what it did is it triggered the get request and it got the details of this particular task and displayed all the details here, right? So we'll change it to delete, save it again, and now you can see delete request has been updated here and we'll run this particular request again. And now we should be getting whatever expected response that we think. So you can see that now there is a blank data dictionary that has been written. The object contains nothing. And that means this particular task has been deleted. If we go to the RCV test project here, now you can see that there is only one task that has that is present there and that the other task that we created has been deleted. If we go to the details of this particular task, you can see this is the task GID. Let me copy that and try to delete this one as well. So we'll, rename, we'll uh, paste the GID that we just copied, save this request and rerun this request. And now the other task that is there in this project, which we created manually should be deleted as well right so you can see the task is deleted okay and this is a sample task deleted from GUI so when we triggered the delete request this has been deleted and there it's it, it's currently in the bin which you can undelete or delete permanently on the UI that's the functionality that has been provided but uh, whatever delete method is supposed to do as part of this request delete that has been done through Catalon uh, Studio API testing. So this concludes the basic CRUD operations uh, that you can do through 
the Catalon Studio and these are the operations that you will be using most frequently when you are doing the API testing. There are a lot more operations for example patch which is similar to put. Um, there is a there is very major difference between put and patch but they both are utilized to up to update the uh, data into the database or the resource details then there are a lot more which we'll be discussing in the future tutorial but uh, th these four get post put and delete are the very basic crud operations that we have already discussed and disc uh, and uh, triggered these requests um, and how you will be triggering these requests manually to uh, do the API testing manually. Now in future tutorial, we'll start doing a bit of parameterization and then we'll start working on the automating this whole end-to-end -end flow using Catalone Studio. So hope you like the tutorial. Thank you for watching.